It's a supposed to be speaking for stop the talking in shul once again. Today we're going to talk about a zoya uh, brought down the Kavayashar in the third parak. It says the following: After a mashikot of zoya parshas truma, in parshas truma it says v'zelu shayne mandi yishtoy v'beis k'nishte a person who speaks in shul vayle oyve for him ve'emli chelik belikay yisrael. He has no chelik in the, in in Hashem. The gorim and musim demalka because he's hurting the malchus, the kingdom of God. At kamul shayne. Now he says something very interesting. He says, I'm not going to talk about this a lot. I'm not. Why? Every person knows the punishment for speaking in Shul. So it seems to me that the Kavir took for granted that we all knew this. And we are God's uh, flock, and therefore, you shouldn't be speaking anything Chol and Shul. This little Aver looks like you, little Aver. If you do this, you won't have a Chelek. And therefore, he says, you surely shouldn't talk to the of Rechilus. And he goes on to say that a person who talks to the Beis HaKnesis, who goyrem shashchina miselekes me Yisrael. You are goyrem that the Shechina leaves Klai Yisrael. We just had this in Noach, the Yoyna the, the, in, in the Zayar is talking about the Shechina. He had no place to rest. Many shuls have been destroyed and God Shechina doesn't have a place to rest for all those who talk in shul. I just want to add another thing. I was in shul the other day, and um, somebody was, uh, the phone rang by accident, and these, everyone in shul went crazy on him. And it, interesting, in the same mincha, before the, the chazan started davening, the same people who were screaming that the guy's phone went off were talking to each other. I don't know that they were of a phone going off in shul. I feel the phone goes off and the person forgot. It's a shy gig. A Baruch Hu understands that you made a mistake, you didn't turn your phone off. But you cannot talk B'Shayyeg. Talking in Shul it cannot be B'Shayyeg. So we don't have that excuse. So I think that we need to be much more careful um, about our mouths than our phones. Of course, we have to turn our phones off. But if we forget, it's not the end of the world. But if we, if we forget and we talk, that is the end of the world. And I also want to say about people who use their phones to daven. Um, I'm not talking about halacha, but the kids are all watching this. And, and it's a phone, and they see you looking at your phone, and they don't know what's on that phone. And therefore, I, I just don't think that a phone is a, is, is a Dabra Kedusha. If you drop it in the middle of davening, do you have to kiss it? Um, can you put something on it? It doesn't have Kedusha. It doesn't have any Kedusha. So I, I'm, just, I'm just making a little bit of a macha. Uh, I understand by weddings, you forgot. You, but in shul, sifre a, a sitter, it, it, for chinna, for the children. Imagine everyone in shul was davening on a phone. Then, then the whole davening is going to fall apart. Anyway, you should all have a tzlacha and we taga should bring the shechina and the gula the car right back to Pfizer.